Hey, Coach said when you're when when uh, Dewan's not in the game, you need to be. Um, what, what's your role like been this year? How have you attacked it? And um, I, I know you had some health some health things early on. And how do you kind of look past that and just kind of keep moving forward to, to be ready when your number is called? Uh, just reps and practice. You know, uh, even you know, kind of studying Dewan's game and how he plays with certain guys. But I'm um, just a, you know a downhill guard. You know, and guard 94 feet or whatever Coach needs me to do. I get my teammates involved and just you know attack and then eventually knock down open shots. Bobby, you look like you bounced back from this latest injury or tweak or whatever you want to call it. Um, how hard was it when you had to shut it down? I mean, you've been through it. What, what was uh, your mindset during that one? Mentally, it got me a little bit, especially seeing when, you know, Dewan's obviously in foul trouble. Yeah. So then, you know, it kind of puts the pressure on me, but then also Kev was out as well. So seeing them, you know, our team is kind of, you know, shorthanded. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of my fault, but, you know, just staying in rehab and staying healthy, that's the best I can do. How's it feel now? I feel great. Yeah, and, and and is there a correlation between just, I guess, your confidence out there and how healthy you are? I mean, yeah. that seems natural, right? Yes, sir. How is that for you? I mean, right now especially, are you are you still fighting through that and trying to, to get to that full confidence level, oh, yeah, or are you for, there? For sure. I'm still trying to fight and get that confidence. You know, once I get games like you know, the Indiana game, obviously boosts my confidence a little bit, but once I rack up games in a row, I'll be fine. Talking to Dewan, it sounded like that was largely game plan, like what they do when you saw on scout. Oh, yeah. As far as you and him attacking the rim, but yeah. you do that though, right? I mean, how much more can you do in that area, and, and how much more do you want to do? How much more do your coaches want you to do that? Uh, they want me to keep that same mentality, you know, each game. I remember, you know, running off the court, and Coach Rob and Coach Self told me don't lose any bit of confidence. So, you know, having those guys around me that can make open shots kind of just opens up the lane for me and Dewan. That was after Indiana, they said? Yeah. Okay. Ask you just your thoughts on, from sort of like a thirty thousand foot perspective, on how the season has gone so far. You know, ending sort of the first third of this section of the season, and it feels like this team is is beginning to develop its own identity, moving above and beyond. You know what happened last year. Yeah, well, I think we're starting to like finally gel and kind of find that chemistry. You know, uh, after the loss of Tennessee, we all had a team talk and just trying to figure some things out. And then just since that loss, we've just been going up from there, you know, and Kale's starting to find himself. Gray's been playing great. I mean, Jay Will is Jay Will, and we're starting to, you know, like the Indiana game, take pressure off of Jay Will so he doesn't have to, you know, kind of do everything for us. Thank you. I saw the stat that you guys have, I think it's like 89 assists to 138 field goals made, something like that, 60, almost 62%. How unselfish is this team? Obviously, that shows when you guys are really passing the ball around the extra pass. Is this team where you can kind of have not only one big score, just multiple scores at one time? Oh, yeah, for sure, especially with the wings we have. And then, you know, with, I mean, obviously with Grady, J. Will, Kev, I mean, those two guys are pretty much, you know, the best wings in the country. And then we have guys like, you know, Joe coming off the bench as well that can score. And then, you know, they kind of just forget about, you know, point guards like me and Juan, so it kind of opens up everything. And I still don't think they've seen, you know, everything we have yet. You know, Zuby's coming along. MJ will be good. He's got to learn close up system. Bob, you mentioned a, a team talk after the Tennessee loss. Uh, who was the one that put that together? Uh, it was, I think that Will said something like right in the locker room, you know, just how we got to kind of, you know, everybody got to step up. We need some more from the bench. And, you know, Juan and Kel followed along. What's it like to have guys like that that are willing to step up and talk in a locker after uh, a loss like that? It's amazing because, you know, like when I had my, um, a few injuries, I would, you know, text or call Jay Will. I even talked to Kev, you know, Kevin's been through the whole injury thing for years. So I called him a few times. I've talked to them and then just talked to Juan. So having them guys in my corner just kind of helping me and walking me through, you know, this is a uh, step up year for me. So it's, it's good to have. Coach talked about this a little bit, but what do you feel like has contributed to you guys playing so well since that Tennessee game? Uh, we just, I mean, we don't like to lose, you know. Losing is just something that, you know, Kansas doesn't allow. You know, our fans don't like that. So playing for the fans and, you know, we just, we work hard every day. You know, we go two hours, three hours every day. So when you're going that hard and you lose, then it kind of messes up the whole Bahamas trip. You don't want to, you know, end on a bad note. You guys have been talking about improving defensively from, from the start of this year, from the start of last year, throughout probably your entire time here. I, I wonder what kind of feedback you're getting from Coach Self and, and the coaching staff about where you guys are defensively right now. Are they are – they, Starting to say you're getting there. I mean, have you heard that at all? They give us a little bit. They won't <laughs> give us too much. But the last few games, they told us that we're guarding, you know, and you know they've always been on Grady, but now Grady is starting to really show that he can, you know, be a, a two-way guy. What, what What do you think's clicked there? I mean, wh why Why these last few games, and, and 
for them to give you credit for that, it, it, it takes pretty good defense, right? Yeah. So, so what do you think it is that they're seeing and, and that you guys are doing out there? I just think, uh, once again, since that loss, we've been more locked in on scout. You know, I feel like, you know, Tennessee game, we might have got a little lazy, you know, kind of on scout. But then, you know, these last few games, you know, we just kind of locked in. We studied every guy for days and days. And we have, you know, a week to prep for it. So we've been ready. Anything else? Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, guys.